Hello, everybody. I am Lisa Erpenderf, and this is Maja Bunny. Welcome back to Professor Layton. You gotta actually move it up here. And I guess also share my screen to to two I'm seconds. To like, I was about to DM you and be like, "Brush your screen." But you figured it out. Never mind. Yes, this is all gonna stay. <laughs> I was gonna be nice and be like, just secretly tell you, like, you're not sharing your screen, but that works too. I feel like that needs to at least happen, like, once a week when we record. It's just like, you forget to share your screen. Or, like, once every two weeks, I feel like, actually. Oh, it's all three of them. Uh, go find a like info at the cafe. No, we already hmm. found info at the inn. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the cafe. Huh? Yeah. Oh goodness, whatever shall I do? Seems to be the trouble, sir. See ya, strong young. You look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heaven you came along. I beg your pardon. I've searched everywhere. I just can't find the thing. That is. So Suppose they must have dropped it while I was strolling out by the park this afternoon. Go search for it myself, but it's dark outside now. Chicken. It's awfully scary out there. You're also. Bah, nothing of the sort. It's just, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore. My eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. So, how about it, laddie? Will you help out an old man and go search the front of the park for me? What? But we are in the middle of our investigation right now. Now, now, Luke. No need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small walk away. Who knows? We might find some new information in our cases there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. However, Splendid. So that place is fucking creepy. I'll wait here for you to come back. I'm counting on you. One more detail, sir. Uh, what exactly did you drop? What did you drop? Drop I. Oh my! What was it? Uh. Oh shit. That's right. My watch. Actually, my best wrist watch. It's an Irish wrist watch. Try saying that five Oof. times fast. That's a. Sh I will not. Because <laughs> oh. I know I can't. Uh, can you say one smart fellow, he felt smart five times fast? Wait, what is it? One smart fellow, he... Well, yeah, one smart fellow, he felt Wait. smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart? Yeah, five times fast. No, probably not. Not at this late. One and smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. You see, it's a tongue twister yeah, that tricks no, it, that tricks you into saying one fart smeller. He smelled fart. Yeah. And that in its in and of no, itself is also you. a fucking tongue twister that, that made me almost say one smart fellow. He felt smart. <laughs> well, it's because you just did the first one, and that's why you almost did it again when you tried to do the wrong one. Yeah. Also, uh, I am fully aware that it took me f three for four hours to remember a single word. It's not gonna go well if I try to do tongue twisters. That this guy fucking stole the watch. Probably. Hmm. Gerard lost something again? I think he's getting a bit so. He's, he's always dropping stuff. Nice so, what did he drop this time? Oh, yes, his wristwatch, him? His Irish wristwatch? Irish. Irish wristwatch. Dude, he didn't. He did drop an Irish wristwatch. He <laughs> wishes. Did you pick it up around here? <laughs> Actually, no, because Beatrice was the only one who found it. Was the one who found it. Thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she decided to hold on to it until morning. Go to the inn. You can probably ask her for it. Oh, they're just really pointing us to the inn. So, there you go. Or someone. Uh, now that I've got your attention, right? <laughs> could you give me a hand to solve this puzzle? Dark place is really scary, me, but I wanted to solve this puzzle so much, so I came out here for help. Puzzle is all about stars, you see. Maybe you can make sense of the thing, hmm? Of course. 
I'd be happy to help you with, help you with it. See how this goes. Star That's in the 47. sky. I was about to do the forty-seven star in the sky. Look, a gigantic star in the night sky. How many triangles can you find in the picture? In the whole picture. Should I count overlapping triangles. Uh, separately. Yeah, in the whole picture. Okay. Um. Five. Six. Wait, make the touch go away. Thank you. Seven. Okay. Did you hear you say ten? No, I said more than ten. Now, do the bird tails count? Or I'm gonna those... say those are not triangles. Because they're like real fucking small. Yeah, I see I'm gonna. I'm I... cr <laughs> With the tails, I'm concluding that they're like. Um, that the end is flat, and so they don't count with my number. Mm -hmm. Alright. So there's five on the star. Mm hmm. The house is roof. The top of the house is chimney. And I uh -huh. do not see any others. You can make more than five out of the star. How? Bigger. Look at the bigger triangles that you can make with it. That those are four pointed shapes. Mm hmm. A triangle does not have four points. No, but you can ease. I wish I you. I wish I could fucking like show you cursor. Um, you can make. More than just five out of the star. How? Because, okay, so the two... Okay, so... Uh, so, put your cursor on the... Yeah. Go up to the corn... Yeah, no, nope, lower. Or actually, yeah, go there. And then go towards the center. Continue. Oh, oh, I see it. And then go down, yeah. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. I got more than ten. Each point of the star um, can be five, six, seven, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Ten, twelve. Was a chinky too. <laughs> and then our lovely little explanation. This puzzle had one thing to do with a star. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, me go. thanks so much. I could finally go home and get some sleep. Yeah. Good night. It was a long yawn. And he just fucking passes out. Come, Luke, let's go. Yeah.
attempted. Attemptively. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to remember her voice. I've given up at this point. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Okay. Hello there, boys. Turn in. Oh, that's probably about it. Hello there, boys. Turning in for the night already? I'm taking off leaves. Good evening, Beatrice. I heard that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance of the park. Oh, that old thing. Does it belong to you, Professor? Oh, no. It's Gerard's. Uh, he dropped it today while wandering about and asked me to help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting up by the fireplace. All right then, here's that watch. Luke, we just got a free watch. You know, it makes sense that it belongs to Gerald. Gerard. Gerard. Gerald. Harold. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, the professor is too far, is far too fashionable to wear this old thing. It is an old Irish wristwatch. <laughs> Thank you so very much. You an Irish wristwatch. An Irish wristwatch. <laughs> so, Kiosi, uh, you haven't seen r ramen noodles. I mean, he is a very spindly fella, huh? Yeah. About lately, have you? Ramen? That skinny man with the big purple lips? I like that that's his feature that they think of. No, I haven't seen him come by today. But you know, for all his fancy clothing, I hear he's actually quite the late bout. He's probably off idling at the cafe. <laughs> Why not go check for him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, uh, don't worry, Professor. Don't you worry, Professor. Another guest arrived to stay the night. I'm getting up, or set it, I'm setting up his room. Besides, my door's always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. <sighs> we good. Oh, we good. Well, let's give him his watch so you fucking move it out of the way. Yeah. You ever see your family watch, did you? Of course, the gentleman always keeps... Uh, always helps those in distress. Speaking of which... I'm still quite worried about uh, Ramon's whereabouts. And should probably return to our search ban our search now. Yep, same mysteries, strange like that. Despite its size, it's been quite challenging to find people. Tried looking inside the giant fucking tower. You're like running around a maze. Speaking of maze, you ever heard of this one, laddie? Oh, Jesus. You ever heard of this one, laddie? <laughs> we must really be going to get pulled into a fucking puzzle. On the run. Fucking love the fact that I could just like switch to the accent on a dime. <laughs> that was I good. probably can't do it again now that it's completely intentional. Mm hmm. Usually how it goes. The mysterious bandit is on the run and trying to escape the police who are hot on his trail. His entrance in the part of town is marked with an arrow. Uh, this particular bandit follows a pe peculiar creed. He's vowed never to go backwards or turn around. Also, whenever he comes to a junction, uh, he will always turn left or right. Now, as you can see from the map, this part of the town has multiple exits, which are labeled A to G. All of the exits here, um, one... Uh, which one will the bandit never be able to pass through? Alright. Uh, up, either turning left or right. And he would have so to turn right and then he could turn, to. turn left. Um, and, uh, alright. Alright, um, he starts, if he turns left, he'll turn right, and then he can turn left again to go to G. Yep. Um, 
otherwise he can turn right. Um, he can can't also go... get to F. Yeah. So G and F, he can go to. G, F, and from F, uh, E can go to E. Yep. But he cannot go to D from from E. He'd have so. to go a different way. So, like, he can go to... Oh, he can... He can go to A, G, and F. Easily. Da, 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 da. Da, da. D's possible. Uh, it just takes yeah. effort. Um, he has to go straight at that junction. He can't go through B. No, he can't go through B. Because he won't go straight. Nope. Oh, fuck. He just clicked submit without... Oops. Hopefully it didn't dock us. Probably not. Yee. Oh, cool. Except he for the ones that don't. Yeah. As you can see from the diagram, if the bandit must turn every time he approaches a junction, uh, the ways in which he can move through the town are set. As a result, no matter how he approaches exit B, he will never be able to leap through it. Because he cannot go backwards. Yep. Or, like, I say go backwards, I mean, they, they could have just said he can't, like, intersect a space that he's already gone through. Yeah, but we figured it out. You're a sharp one, laddie. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around the inn or cafe. As you know, uh, the inn is right by the entrance to the village. Uh, if you had a chance to change your fate, would ya? My dog is throwing up. Give me a second. Oh, no. And we're back. It was a huge fucking mess. I had to break out the fucking mop. Oof. Never really said to grab the mop even. I've already searched the inn, uh, but checking the cafe seemed, sounds like a good idea. Be sure to stop by. Because, you know, like what? Like four people have told us to check the fucking cafe? Uh, at least, yeah. All right. Th All right, then. Thanks again. You really helped me out, laddie. Think nothing of it, sir. Cream rug. Who got the last... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say who got the last thing. But yeah, I did get the last thing, but fucking Luke got the two things before that. Did he? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't even remember what's in their fucking rooms. <laughs> we haven't actually checked. Anything new? Random child. Good evening, sir. I om It's almost my bedtime, but I got one more puzzle for you if you want to see it. One thousand dimes. Oof. What on earth is this message getting at? Uh, the following is written on a piece of paper you picked up is a thousand times. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all you need to do is fill in the blank spaces with a single letter, with a single letter of the alphabet. But what letter could it be? You need to use the same letter for all three blank spaces. Uh huh? <laughs> That's not my actual guess. I was just pe <laughs> the. It's Roman numerals. Is it Roman numerals? Yes. Why do you think it's Roman numerals? Because it's you got to use the uh, the same uh, letter, and it's a um, I just need to get some Roman numerals.
Well, okay. Well, my thought process is a thousand times. So, like, does that mean it's a thousand times bigger or a thousand times smaller? Because if we, if you look at the picture, one is bigger than the other. Yeah, but you can only th fill three spaces and they have to be the same letter. Yeah. But why are you thinking Roman numerals? Because it's it math. Could be, well, I was about to say, it could be like um like obviously not this one because it's not the same letter but like centimeters like oh my god m is yep. a thousand times mm yep <laughs> i was trying to hint it to you before you like <laughs> before i said it but yeah just because i figured it out meters when I saw is the... a thousand times millimeters yep Good job. I didn't want to flat out say it, so I was like trying to think of how to hint it to you. Though technically M is a Roman numeral, so you're not wrong, but... One meter is a thousand millimeters. Yeah, that's what the million millimeters it means. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no, you ain't good. I'm trying to get your attention. Why? Oh. How'd you like my puzzle? Good fun, right? You did such a good job. I'll tell you a secret. She just ticks you in the dick. Oh, 100%. I heard that there's a man eating monster in the tower, and that's why everyone stays away. I'm not silly enough to think there's actually a monster inside, but the place is dangerous. Well, well tell me who the fuck stacked a bunch of different houses on top of each other. A dumbass. So, be careful in there, mister. I don't know why I said mister. It immediately made me think of, Mister. Like, well, no. Just, like... Okay, so you know, like, uh, in Hercules, when the two um, demons turn into, like, the little boys? Mm. When... <laughs> Golly G, mister. Golly and he was going <laughs> for innocent... Yeah, exactly. The exact thing I thought of. I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Okay. Professor, there's a cat here. Oh, here, kitty, kitty. Animals are very dear to you, aren't they, Luke? Well, I have just a puzzle for you, then. Yes, because I'm, I do not allow you to con to converse with other children. No. Or starters. Especially that Oliver Twist kid. Yeah... Not the best decision. I don't know. Okay. Of cats and mice. Mm. Oh, of mice and men. Luke, look across the river. Think about the rabbits. Uh, okay. Have Why you ever read of mice and men? Yes, I have. <laughs> five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. Then mind, how many okay. cats does it take to catch a hundred mice in a hundred minutes? Wait. How many mice does it take to catch? Wait, how many cats does it take to catch a hundred mice in a hundred minutes? Yeah, five cats oh, can catch five that's mice easy. in five minutes. That means it takes one cat to catch five mice in one minute. No, wait, no, wait. Uh, it takes one cat. To... It takes one cat to catch one mouse in one minute. Uh huh. So I'm I, I I'm no, gonna wait. say. I, I figured it out. Takes one cat five minutes to catch one mouse. Uh huh. Or no. Because they're not going one after another, they're all catching mice. Yes. Let me see how long it takes you. Well, you are here for a reason. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> you remember the last puzzle that was sort of similar to this, and the answer was in the word puzzle in the word wording of it 
100? No. Five? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's one of those puzzles again. Should have played Spectrobes. Why? <laughs> because it requires less brain power than this. <laughs> That's reasonable. Five cats. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. If the mouse hunt continues for another five minutes, expect to total ten mice to get cut. In other words, the same five cats can catch ten mice in ten minutes, twenty mice in twenty minutes. Similar matter of how long the five cats work. That's a pile of mice, though. <laughs> the cats are just sitting there looking at the pile of mice. Oh, it took us a little over an hour and a half to catch all these mice. Wonderful job there, Luke. A painting scrap. Oh, nice. Oddwood! Anything else for us, hipster? Hey, looking out for, uh, for ramen, are you? Yep, you definitely look for ramen. You still haven't found the guy. Surprisingly slippery, sir. <laughs> uh, listen, streets here are dangerous at night. Highly dangerous. Can't go running around the village with a kid. That's dangerous. Highly dangerous. Don't ask why my accent changed. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to pu punish your poor judgment with a puzzle. But you'll solve it, yeah? Of course. Do we have a choice? My dad's from New York. My mom's from uh, Brooklyn, him to shower, shower. <laughs> oh, I was trying to make Brooklyn. it so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brooklyn, him <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Brooklyn Himmershire. Just trying to make up a dumb sounding British town. <laughs> well, technically, I think Brooklyn might actually have been a town. I don't remember if it is or not. We'd have to Google, but. Yeah, there, there, there might be a. A Brooklyn, England. Oh, let's find out. Oh, uh, Google it. Uh, Brooklyn, England is an actress. Uh, wait, that's actually her name? Yes. Damn. Is there a Brooklyn in England? There you go. A Brooklyn, North Yorkshire. Oh, shit. United Kingdom. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, no, Brooklyn is a part of New York. Yeah. Turns out there's a Brooklyn in Old York, too. <laughs> 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 uh, try this number maze for sure start from the center square and continue until you reach one of the equal goals square a, squares a through d here are the rules you can move the number of squares written on the square you are currently on you can move horizontally or vertically but only in one direction per move you must land exactly on a goal square to finish which goal square can you reach This is going to take a while. So wait, D is out of the question because you have to do all the squares. A is out of the question because you have to do all the squares. Well, at least going straight to it. Actually, no, yeah, A would be out of the direction at least that way. Unless you do, like, because that only goes four, so that one wouldn't work. Four. If it has a five, you can't do it unless it's in the right spot. None of them are in the right spot. Because there's you only four. only move in a straight line. Yeah. So we, we have to start by going two up, or two down, two left, or two right. Yeah. So we get two options. We get the twos. Yeah. Um, can't go left. 
actually. Well, actually, you can go left because then you can just go back six. Just land you on this three. Yeah. It would be two, one, two. If I go straight. Oh, wait, from the two. So the two you have to go, wait. No. I think two. So two is the starting number. So actually, we can go the direction of the five and the f both fives. Because two, and then go down two, go right up, d left two. But the w direction to the s D would be off because you can't go six either direction. Uh, You can't go four up, but you can go four. Okay, that one still works, actually. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, draw a circle. You just need to fucking like trace out fucking map ways, dipshit. Dipshit. Dipshit yeah. ass game. Uh, two, two, one, one, two, three, two, three, four, and then I have to go four. So one. Oh, fig I figured it out. You figured it out? Um, I just gotta remember how I did this. Um, Which? One, two. Uh -huh. The answer is B. Okay. I think. If I did this correctly. Two up. Uh, I think I did two up. I also got B. Alright. Submit. I'm, I'm not going to retrace my steps. No. It's on video. I remember. <laughs> it's on video. I traced it with the fucking thing. And we got it correct, so it works. Fucking take it and run. Yeah, that's that's what I did. I ended up going through that four at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two up, three across, one down, four across. Well, three down. Yeah, three down. Four over. Four over. But then you land on the two. Or no, you land on the... Yeah, you two, land on two, two so across. then you go two more over. And three then up, three up. Three up, one across. Yeah. Five down. Yep. Three across, two down. Mm -hmm. Four across. Mm -hmm. Three up, and then two sideways. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I might have, like, fucked it up somewhere around here, but I got, like, that latter half. You you got the B, which was the right answer, so we did it. Doesn't right. matter how you got it, it only matters that you got it. Exactly. Oh. Looks like you solved it alright. Somehow. Of course we all knew a brain box like you would solve it. If you're looking for a cafe, it's right there. It's yeah. way past the kids' bedtime, you know? Way past. <laughs> Yeehaw. You don't, you don't know my bedtime, sir. I don't think Actually, I before have coming to town, I made sure the town crier was announcing that a young boy in a blue newsy cap will uh, has a bedtime of uh, six thirty p.m. I think it's past <laughs> six thirty p.m., bro. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's also that is like a very unreasonable time to put your kid to bed. Dude, okay, that used to be when I was really little. That used to be my bedtime. Um, only problem is, I didn't sleep as a kid either, so it was just really counterproductive <laughs> for my mom. But, you know, it's it's fine. Oh, um, I would just stay up and watch, uh, old TV shows, like I Love Lucy. He's a big fucking guy. Damn! He's a very large man. His name is Crumb. From. Oh there. I've never seen your face in here before. What would it be, pal? This is not a cafe. Th that that th th cafe. these are not that th th these is are not alcohol. Yes.
Oh, I'm I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. Hmm. Are you for a special then? Huh? Oh, what do you want to know? No one has seen or heard from uh, Raman, servant of the Reinhold Manor, uh, since this afternoon. We've looked around everywhere, but to no avail. Uh, it seems like he just vanished uh, from Saint Mystery. Talking to Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who was said to lurk around the village. You perchance know anything about s such an individual? An old man? All right. Hell, rumor. So you have heard of him before. Uh, if you have any information at all, uh, please share it with us. Hmm. Can't remember much on account of the fact that it looks like my head was crushed by a bowling ball. Uh, you know, yeah, really like does. like it fits oh so perfectly in this crowd. It really does, yeah. Ruined my favorite hat. I think it ruined your head more than your hat. Not from around here, are you? Thing is, I can't have much have you spreading wild rumors about sweet 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 <laughs> Holy shit! That was that was a that was a that was a thing. Uh, do accents too too long? It. <laughs> uh, my tongue starts to act like I'm speaking with a mouthful. The mouth Cotton. full of no golf balls. Oh god, that's even worse. Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I could find you. Find it in me to trust you. Oh, so you've solved 30 puzzles. All right, then. Here's an earful for you. Um, I know a fellow who swears down that he saw strange old geezers skitting around the village. It's weird... F weird fucker in a ta tall top hat. Wandering around asking questions to people he shouldn't be asking questions. Just pulls a knife. Oof. And that is this fellow I know is prosciutto. Fucking prosciutto. Prosciutto. You know, like the meat. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's a wee one. He's got the appetite of wolf. You know, we can find this prosciutto. Yeah, don't at the deli. Oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. Can't say for sure. But at this hour, he's probably at home snacking on something. His mom's probably smacking on him because she's fucking eating everything in the fridge. Probably. Icebox. That's on the road that winds up north of me. I have to go pay a walk of fridge of it. Okay, cool. Fridges do exist. <laughs> it's Luigi. It's Luigi. Nah, it's a Zapone. Yeah, oh, fancy meeting you here. Mm. I mean, a really tough puzzle right now. Uh, it's it's harder than a crack of a, it's harder to crack than a coconut. Uh, coconuts are actually rather easy to crack if you know where to fucking hit it. So it's easy to crack if you're fucking not stupid. Sounds about right. And who knows? Uh, might even have something you uh, to do with the case you investigate. Don't ask why my accent changed. It's only easier for someone to do a southern accent than it is to do a British accent because he's from American. D don't ask questions. <laughs> Just always ask questions. Help the detective out, will you, brother? Hmm. It's all very interesting, but I do believe there is a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Say no more, undercover and all that, yes. Very well, but I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. <laughs> Us being the same train and all, I suppose it couldn't, it couldn't hurt if I let, let you have a look at this puzzle. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he oh. said it was hard, and it's a 10 out of 10. Oh. A certain town only has two barbers in it. There, are, there aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets a haircut by one of these two barbers. Oh, um, I get my haircut by my mom, despite the amount of barbers that are in this town. Though. So, like, you know. 
You think he's too fine a gentleman. Until what? she had a cataract surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a Which good one idea should anymore. you go to for a haircut? Go to A. Because if everyone in town gets their hair done by no, one of the two barbers, B think can't do it. his own hair. Think about it. I am thinking about it. B can't do his Wait. own hair. No, he can't. So oh, that, wait, means, B did, that means B did. That means B did A's hair. Yeah, never mind. I thought you said A is the one we can't trust, and so never mind. Yeah, A is the one that we can trust. Alternatively, B is me. such a good barber that he can do his own hair, and A is just jealous. Yeah, probably. And tried to do his own and hair and fucked it up. Yep. Try. Right. When this town gets a haircut by one of these two barbers, this includes the two barbers themselves, because people don't usually cut their own hair. Stylist uh, with the butcher haircut is probably more skilled of the two. Yeah. Also, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the guy who looks like a fucking whack job has, like, better stories to tell you while you're sitting in the chair. Oh, 100%. Ho-ho, you've done... Ho-ho! You've done it. You've solved the monster of a riddle. Simply astounding. I couldn't do... Even I couldn't do it. Because I'm... There's only two options. There's literally only two options, if you think about it. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, but I'm more pressure. Oh, fuck, this has been a 42-minute video. I'm so sorry if you enjoyed the like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Macho Bunny. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye.